Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more of Skoso's adventures through Star Wars Galaxy. Skoso is our Transdotian passenger, and our Rodian driver has brought us back to a T so we can continue finding Hiskas as we are trying to eliminate the black scale on this planet. Pulling out the black banthas. Venomous Glade. We have more exact fix on the location deep in the eastern part of a T. Okie dokie. Which Venomous Glade is this that we're heading to? It's over by the Web Weavers. Alright, so by uh, Silk Thrower, gotcha. I really do like that trophy for That's killing nice all this trophy. stuff. It's yeah. a nice trophy. Although it's he is a lot of wandering around. But at least we look awesome walking around in our black manthas. Representing the BB. Why this guy have to land in the furth furthest away place? I didn't even landed like right on the beach here. I don't know. He's one of you. I mean, I would have landed on the beach. This dude decided to land in S scary Spiderville. Is he off one of that like little paths or something like that? Oh. Lizard guys, I swear. I mean, it's better than being an amphibian. I have more living options than than you do. Yeah, but you guys do in water or out of water. You guys do weird things like lick your eyeballs and crap like that. It's like just that's just odd. He's not too far in here, if I remember correctly. I'm assuming he's probably off the right here. Yes. Because there's a little path that goes down on the map. The base is Siskus. It's a baby! Was he over here or was he... I was assuming it was up that path up here. Uh, hell if I know. Face discuss. Oh yeah, this looks like a venomous glade. It's not, but it looks like one. Is there anything back there? No. You see him? Not yet, no. Because it made a sound like right here. I wonder if he's around this little path. I think he's a little further in still. Yeah, all Maybe. that are here are critch. Usually when it goes, plays you a sound and changes your objective, it means you're like 
right on top of the target, you know? Usually, yeah. All I see are spiders. In oh, he's there. Oh, he's there. a Rodian dinner. Oh, That's not him. These are just web weavers. You have an issue? Slightly. I don't remember having a problem against these guys when I was down here. Yeah, but I mean... How much health these guys have? They're 2,000, it's not that much. See, I like this ability because I can give you stamina. I mean, you never need stamina. But, you know, there are actual other people that play this game that need action. Now I have an ability to help the team outside of my ability to murder. This guy think he's going. You come back here, sir. I still don't have enough action though. And down you go. I guess that was your Hiskas, because I didn't get a Hiskas. Oh, really? Yeah, mine still says face Hiskas. All right, we're running down there towards that little shuttle thingy. Shuttle thingy? Escape pod that thingy. Oh, the escape pod. I see the escape pod. I don't refer to it as a shuttle thingy. I refer to it by its name. Technical name is shuttle thingy. No, no. Nothing yeah. for you? Nope. Alright, run out this way a little bit and then run back in there and we'll see what happens. Boom, 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 boom. It's a shame it doesn't credit us both for killing one, you know? Yeah. But whatever. At least it's not as bad as some of those spawns on uh, Mustafar. Like, you gotta kill this the guy to get your uh, robe or... I can't remember what I was killing some of those guys for. And they were just... They were just camped for days. You know? But I can't wait to do Mustafar. Well, I mean, we're right up on it. We want to do one of the, um, like one of the parks before we do Mustafar. Up to you. So, I mean, we've done Sirens. We've done 
Uh, we've done Nims. We've done all of Kashyyyk, basically. I mean, we're getting pretty close to getting that. Uh, don't you get some type of ach uh, achievement for being like savior of Kashyyyk or some crap? I mean, basically done all that. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We got incoming. Got that guy, you need a hand. I'll pull his aggro. Now you brought your friend with you. Inventory overload. Add to collection. Add to collection. Incoming. Where's your little smoke em and poison gas button? You mean that one? Yeah, that one. Cause I'm gonna hit my, my recharge everyone super fast button. That really does help, doesn't it? Your clicknick is actually not too shabby now. Oh, he's pretty good. It's pretty good. This gas is no more. I guess we can return, can't we? Or did yours update? Because mine says he's no more. Yes. So I'm assuming we just return to that lady? Or that Wookiee person? Bothan. Okay. Was it a Bothan? I thought it was a Wookiee. Yeah, whatever. I guess the first one was a Wookiee. I wonder how many Bothans died to bring us this information. I will state this again. Bothans are the ugliest looking creatures in this galaxy. Oh crap, I should have been reading that. I'm doing videos, aren't I? <clears throat> With both Rosk and his Scots gone, Word and Tusk is sure to know something is up. Now is our chance to finish it. Lord Sissick sits secure in his citadel, but there will be a way to uh, rouse him. To call for aid would be a sign of weakness for Tusk, one he will not show. But Sissick will be pleased to answer such a call. How will this help? In the Black Scale compound, you will find the uh, one communications device that Lord Sissick will believe is a legitimate source you need to break into the camp overcome the guards and send a call pleading for lord sissick to come and put down this insurrection personally and he will believe this i am counting on his pride not le uh, not, not letting him resist go speak with kaimar again she wishes to have some words with you on this separation i will do so you have shown your bravery time and time again, Skoso. The people of this land and all those who value freedom are behind you. I am now asking you for more. I am giving you a recorded message. It will transmit the warden's signature along with a plea for help. We must have faith that this will work. I have faith. Then go speak with Gerson. Tell you more about the camp. Okay. Really? Have to speak her again? What's with this back and forth? Why don't you guys just say hey? Yeah, can't they just yell it? The black scale. <laughs> Seriously, it's just like, it's right there. 
Why do you have to be in your own damn hut? The Black Skill Compound is a fortress designed to keep us out more than keep prisoners in. You need to know uh, that none that have entered has ever returned, but we're Jedi and Frog Boy. So your information is so our information is sketchy at best, but we will ha uh, have one important piece of information. The compound was built on top of the first Ford Imperial base placed in this region. The communication station is there for certain. It will be guarded. Surely. Heavily. Probably lots. How do I get in? Approach the gate from here in Kakero. It is on the north side, not from far from a T. Watch full for Captain Besik. He is the captain of the guard and will likely be on duty. I warn you, he is not one to be taken lightly. Once inside, you will have to make it through a heavily fortified gauntlet of black scale troopers before you reach the compound. Be certain the path is uh, be certain the path to victory goes through Warden Tusk. I am ready. Then be off. I have a question before we be off. Um, should we be this is not going to take us more than 45 minutes, right? I don't think so, no. Okay. Well, that's all the time I have left on my uh, my medic buffs. So I, was, I just didn't want to have, like, be in the final battle with a really tough boss and then have half of our life disappear, <laughs> you know? Um. Yeah, I don't know that this will take us very long in here. The tough part is going to be in space. Gotcha. everything will be double you know, you know how this has been going on so far so mm -hmm. there'll be two capital ships a couple of things so we'll have to be very strategic about this or what we could do is i could accept the mission we fly up and do mine record us flying up and doing mine and then uh we land and i say goodbye folks i hope you've had a wonderful day and then we launch again and do yours i could always bring my second pilot leave this guy on the ground after having the mission. Just leave this guy on the ground and uh, bring my second pilot to help you. Well, what I'm saying is we I could do it first or you could do it first. It doesn't matter. Well, once we... I think once we do this part oh, here... Do, it, does it uh, automatically it update? I think. Gotcha. Well, I was figuring it was to go back to talk to the one person to send me to the other person to send me to the first person again. If it does that way, we'll roll it. But I don't think it does. Gotcha. At this point, anyone who's actually watching is, like, completely lost. But that's okay. In general, so are we. I never did any of this black scale stuff on live. I remember going in here, but I don't ever remember doing the space mission. I mean, I never even went in here. Oh. Oh, this the is guy. the captain. Yeah, we found the guy. Uh, don't turn around. Because if you use any of your AoE abilities in that direction, we're going to pull like half dozen other dudes. So what you're saying is don't use smoky cloud of death. Yes, no, no poison fart grenades. Although, oh, this guy doesn't do much in the way of damage, either. Probably should have taken a different set of buffs, too. But that's fine. I went with glancing, crit, ACR, and strength. I had been thinking about how tough some of the guys we would be up against were, I probably would have gone uh, glancing and then just do uh, armors. Maybe some agility. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, I have to enter the compound, or is that what you have, or? No, 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 hang on a second.
I have to touch the door myself. I'm waiting for my action to come back up. <laughs> Black skill processing camp. Touch. Here we go. That's oh, your little were kitten. That's a weird looking creature. He has funky legs. And long ears. And a giant too. It looks like something that uh Um, I forgot the name of the person. Napoleon Dynamite would draw. You know what I mean? Yes. This is like a liger combined with a donkey. A wonky. Kind of looks like, at least in the mouth of those big teeth, the creature the Klingon is cap is like dog. Really? I guess so. See, now my brain's not thinking. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of him again. My brain can't for all of a sudden. And I know this. This is a place. Enter the compound. Wonderful. Uh, where am I at? Are you by yourself? Like warp me backwards. You're 4,800 meters away. Should I wait for you? See if I can come in. Hopefully you, you can. You have, to, you have to leave and we'll go back in again. It's possible. Targs. I don't see you. So you don't see me? Do not see you. All right. Well, let me leave. You want to leave the instance? Yes. Maybe it's one of those where we can't both hit it. One of it hits it. Does that happen? Yeah, I think that's what happens. Bring me way back here. Well, the same thing happened to us when we tried to go into the, the glade, yeah, whatever it's called. World War Rock. Yeah. That was one of those bummers because that was a good fight and it didn't get recorded. Well, it got recorded, but I accidentally deleted it because I'm a dummy. There you are. Black skill people. A black skill Kermuth? Oh, how cute! It's a. It looks like a doom lizard. You should pull out one of your pets in here. When I, when I said pull out one of your pets, I actually meant for him to like attack and stuff. What the hell? Oh, there's mines here. There are mines? All right, give me just a second. I have to free up a little bit of space in my inventory. I'll just toss stuff into my backpack. Worry about it later, you know what I mean? 
I'd say we try to avoid as many of these guys as we can so we can get through this quickly. You know. Mambu has no chill. What, you didn't see the freaking mines? Well, no, I didn't see them. I wasn't looking for them. It's not like they're hidden. <laughs> this is not like H&G where I'm looking for mines sometimes. Hey, there's mines right there. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't step on them. Really? Who stepped on that one? <laughs> not me. Must be proximity mines. Those are different mines. Okay, we have to fight. Pull the other guy over. You're probably doing your fart, Cloud. Nope, did not. Oh, did you want any of these stims, by the way? I should have asked. I have some, actually. Okay. And I wasn't going to take any, but there wasn't a line for anything. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay. I looked around and and Pizza the Hut was like, Stim's incoming. I was like, you know what? Invite. And guess what? I need to feed this thing real quick, hang on. Okie dokie. Central communications. You barely scratch me, dude. You're near death. No more than a scratch. Tis a flesh wound. Is this where we need to go? I see anything over there to flip. This doesn't look like a communications compound. I think we have to go down the next path. You know what I mean? Yes. I think those are supposed to be flashy nade bangs or something. I got past them. Your dog's gonna aggro those guys, probably. Huh. Fido didn't aggro him. I kind of feel like fighting our way through this just because, you know, we could. And it'd be awesome. Yeah, I think our bus will wear off before we got through it, though. I'm just waltzing through a minefield. They're like, dudes will never come this way, man. There are mines everywhere. There's some guy somewhere that goes, take your time. Whatever you do, don't go through the minefield. Who would aggro more, the critters or these guys? I'll have to go right next to him. He might be able to get around the critter. It looks like... Looks like Frog is not on the menu today. Holy crap, this one really does have a lengthy fight, doesn't it? Yeah, yes it does. You and I should do this again at some point and like legitimately kill everything just for the funds. Look at how this stuff has in it. What's that? Oh, I, I see another building back over here. Yeah. Now that looks like a compound back over there. Hang on a second. I'm checking up here at nothing. Yeah, this looks like it would be fun to uh, to do stuff with. And uh, maybe these guys drop some good crap. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a big boy over. Can we fight the big boy? I, oh, oh, what is that? 
It's a cylindrolich. He only has 132,000 health. Should we go after him? Well, here's my only concern. What if we need to kill that as part of a quest? I, I don't have to wait for him to respond, but kill it. Let's kill him. The other guy is 111 too, so there is. Holy sh! Well, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> that dude hit a little hard. I mean, I'll be fine, but. Uh, focus on the the one guy first, I guess. Little boy. Well, as long as you keep me healed up, we'll be good. I might want to heal your dog. Okay. Yeah, don't. I have that one ability to give us more uh, action back, so don't like conserve. Yeah, I'm good. Ish. Where, where are you going, dude? Don't run away. I said I I have no idea because I never did this I did a lot of solo play you know all right central communications I mean we might very well have have to kill that guy again but whatever we've proven that we can or you can kind of get over that little incline there Cool. Yeah, this is like a full-fledged, you know, five, six-person instance. You know what I mean? If you were in your 80s. Like, you haven't, like... You're like, all right, he's doing the healing, and I'll do the damage, and I'll do the tank. Now we're just, like, running around them, because we can. See, this is a professional guide. Why fight him? You just walk around him. I don't understand why everyone wastes all this time fighting him. Just, just you know, walk around him. <laughs> Uh, how do we get into this joint? Oh, there's a door over here, it looks yeah, like. On the back side. I'm going to have to do this again. Okay, those were bigger. We're going to actually have to fight a dude. Although these guys are pretty... Easy. Ooh, yeah. I got a, I really got a. I got a nice ISO. Eighty nine point nine two on an orange. That's. Oh damn it! Are we in a maze? No, nah, we just go go around up here. There's a door up here. It looks like. Okay. They aggroed me. Roger that. Do 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 do
I didn't even have that one buff on. Let's turn that on. I always forget to put my uh, elder buff on. I usually do too. Alright, so if I was a communications bunker... Gotta be around the back side of here, because there's one that can go underneath it. Yeah. Right, How did you aggro that dude over there? Your doggo is going to be in trouble. I think Fido went down. Oh, there he is. Well, he's not fighting, though. You raised the laziest creatures. I called him over here. If I go up here, there's a down. All right, so there's a place over there. Yeah, you can get over through the area you're in. No, no, no. Yeah, right back where we were. Raj stands for lazy in a Rodian. Control room access. Word and tusk. See, now I know what to do because this is like every other single bunker we've done for 90 levels. Yep. I think I can put my, my gas pipe down because everybody's yeah. right. Yeah. I agree. And I can pull aggro off these guys pretty easy, so. I just didn't want us to get swamped by a whole bunch of guys. Because the one thing that your gas cloud is good for is drawing things from the furthest reaches of the map. <laughs> the range on that gas cloud is not like five meters it's like 30 meters you know yes all right i'm curious so i'm gonna look in this one room even though i don't think there's anything in here never mind it's not actually even a door this time even though it shows it as a door all right uh come fight me bros oh hold up a second that is most definitely a mandalorian isn't it or a bounty hunter or a black sun. That, that is black sun. Isn't that the standard black sun armor? Yeah. One of the coders in the game was like, it says black. Well, I can't find the black scale guy, so I'll just put one of these dudes in. <laughs> and then they didn't fix it. Maybe it's like one of those, um, you know, one of the programs, some like military, uh, it's like, and it's, it's an exchange program. You know what I mean? Yep. I see the warden. The black sun and the black scale had like some exchange thing going on. They're like. Hit him with the stick. All right, give me a second. Oh. Warden. Oh, okay, we're gonna fight. He is 150. Uh, I'd say we take out his little boys first. Yeah, that's fine, my dog is fine. Take out the ads.
The dog can tank pretty good. Yeah, I can only see this, you know, getting a group of people to go and do this during live would have been a wee bit of a, I won't say a chore, but it would have been a fun little, I mean, it's a dungeon, you know? There really weren't any before uh, Rage Werther because there wasn't like that, anything like that in GOK was probably the you know, first one kind of similar. But didn't GOK come in with uh, Rage? Uh, no, GOK was before that. Okay. I know that one of the clone relics goes there, so I didn't know if it was or not. Lock disabled. <gasps> Traitors! Traitors! They are the very hairy lizard. You know? Maybe the computers forgot what they look like when they did this for them. Yeah. Black skills are like Wookiees, right? No. Should we let these Wookiees win? No. Okay. I was told that's what you, you're supposed to do. Some supposed wise sage. We didn't even have to kill those guys. Oh well. I got 10 minutes on buff. Uh, where's the power button? I see, I, not this way. Not that way. Well, there it is. We'll just fight them all. Bring them over here. Yeah. <laughs> Use your fart cloud. Who's hitting you? I can't tell. I don't know. Right, there we go. I think I got him that time. Yeah, your little beastie was slacking again. Well, what's the deal? He's like, <laughs> can, can, can we play ball? <laughs> no, we're fighting bad guys, but I want to play ball. Where's my bone? It's inside of that guy. Go get it. All right, so we disabled a lock. Summon Gishkikushkisk. We got central communications zero one. So what are we? What are we, what are we hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, that's uh here. I bet you it's up here. Maybe it's in that side room that we couldn't get in before. Yep, doors open. Beep 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 It it's an SOS but like a Star Wars SOS Hey you might be right. 
turn to Gerson now. Yep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Can we peace out from in here? Return to Kikiru. Nice. It works in here, too. You know, I think one of these days, I probably won't record it, but we should go in there and just murder everything just to see what we can get. You know how many of us died to bring you this information, Gerson? We haven't a moment to lose. Lord Sizik is already on the move, and our forces have been sent to intercept. I have a trophy for you, though. Captain Bishk won't need his staff anymore. I'll be right off. Sizik will be flying in shortly. Get up there and prepare your welcome. Be at your best, Goso. Your target is a modified heavy cruiser. It will definitely have a scale guard presence. All right. Well, I think we will go after those scale guards next time, guys. So next episode, we are going to kill Sizzik. First time out, maybe. Might take some more tries. We shall see. It's supposed to be hard. Might be fun. See you all later. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.